the iPhone XS has one of the longest lasting batteries ever found in an iPhone, yet. But even the biggest batteries can't last forever, and one day you'll need to replace it. So today, we're gonna show you how. For this repair, you'll need an eye opener, a set of iFixit opening picks, a suction cup, an eye sclack, a spudger, tweezers, and a P-tube pen lobe, tri-point Y000, and Phillips 000 screwdrivers. We also recommend using a magnetic mat during your repair, as the iPhone XS has a ton of tiny screws that are easy to lose track of. When you're ready to do your repair, discharge your phone below 25% to reduce your chances of a battery fire or explosion if you accidentally puncture your battery. But don't worry, this probably won't happen, it's just a precaution. Power off your iPhone and then start by removing the two P2 pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone. Next, use your eye opener to heat up the lower edge of the iPhone. This softens the adhesive, making it easier to open. If you've got an eye stock, it's gonna make opening your iPhone a lot easier. Just place it on the screen just above the lightning port, engage the suction cups, and squeeze to open the phone. You only need to open the iPhone just enough to get one of your opening picks inside. If you don't have an eye stock handy, a suction cup can be used in the same way. Place the suction cup in the same position just above the lightning port and apply constant pressure to create the gap needed to insert the opening pick. Once you've got the opening pick in position between the phone's frame and the screen, slide around the lower left corner and then up the left side of the phone, slicing through the adhesive, while making sure not to insert the pick too far into the phone. This is a good time to remind you that breaking the adhesive seal of the iPhone does compromise your phone's water resistance. So keep that in mind, you'll need to replace the adhesive or just keep it away from water after this repair. Now, reinsert your pick at the bottom edge of the iPhone and slide it up the right side to finish separating the adhesive. The top edge of the iPhone XS is secured by both glue and clips, so slide your pick along the top to separate the adhesive, then gently wiggle the screen down in the direction of the lightning port. Try not to pull the phone too hard, there are several cables connecting the display to the logic board, and we don't want to damage them. Once you've freed the display, open it to the right like the back cover of a book. Prop the display against something to keep it open, and then remove five screws holding on the logic board connector bracket. There are three different sized screws in this bracket and they all need to go back in exactly where they came from. So make sure to note which screws came from which hole on your magnetic mat. Use your spudger to disconnect the battery connector, the front panel sensor assembly cable, and finally, the OLED panel connector. The sensor assembly cable is lightly adhered in place, so use your tweezers to gently lift the cable until it separates. Now your display should lift right off. Before we can get our battery out, we'll need to remove the bottom speaker and the Taptic engine. And to get started, we'll take out the five screws securing the two brackets that are below the Taptic engine. Next, there's one screw securing the speaker connector cover. Then use the pointy tip of your spudger to disconnect the speaker connector. Now gently lift the speaker by inserting your spudger under the top edge of the speaker and gently prying up. While prying, use your tweezers or a spudger to peel away the plastic bumper strip from the top edge of the speaker. And when you have the speaker lifted slightly, gently rock the speaker up and out of the phone. Use the pointy end of a spudger to disconnect the Taptic engine cable, and then remove the two Phillips screws securing the engine in place. Now the Taptic engine should lift up and out. The battery has a total of four stretch adhesive strips securing it to the case. Each of these strips has a black pull tab that is lightly adhered to the battery. Once you have the tab separated from the battery, grab the pull tab with some blunt tweezers and begin pulling and rolling the strip so that it wraps over the tweezers. When pulling, be mindful to avoid making contact with any of the surrounding hardware. If you do end up breaking an adhesive strip, head over to our guide at ifixit.com. We've got a complete walkthrough with other options that'll help you out. Be aware that when removing the last adhesive strip, the strip may fling the battery out of the iPhone. So hold your hand over the battery to prevent it from flying away. Now we're ready to install our new battery. First things first, we need to apply new adhesive strips. To start, Peel away the blue plastic liner to expose the adhesive. Position the strips so that the black pull tabs overlap the edges of the battery. Now press them into place.
fold the black tab so that it sticks to the battery, and then remove the pink liner to fully expose the adhesive. Make sure the battery connector aligns with the socket on the logic board, and then lay the new battery into your phone. Now we can reassemble our iPhone. First up, the Taptic engine goes back in along with the two screws that hold it in place. Next, you'll reconnect the Taptic engine cable. Reinsert the speaker, then reconnect its cable. Then reposition the two brackets and reinsert the screws holding them in place. Now we need to reapply our display adhesive. This process can take a bit of time, but lucky for you, we have an entire video walking you through the process. We'll link to it down in the description below. With your new adhesive strips applied, position your display along the side of the iPhone and prop it up just like you did during disassembly. Reconnect all the cables and then realign the logic board connector bracket. Make sure to use the same screws in the same spots to avoid damaging your phone. Then carefully align the display along the top edge of the phone and then press the top edge into place. Once in place, close the phone and reinsert the pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone. Now that your iPhone is completely reassembled, it's time to calibrate your battery. To start, fully charge your battery to 100% and keep it charging for at least another two hours. Then use your iPhone until it shuts off due to low battery. Finally, charge it uninterrupted back to 100%. This will ensure that you get optimal performance with your new battery. 